I just showed you but that you we did. made 19 pounds with your car the other night without you here and you didn't believe me. He told me 18. Well, I might have made a hit after that. We're gonna have a talk. Turn around on yourself and look how nervous. Let's have a talk. Let's have a talk about you taking a year to turn it all the way up. In the comments below, put how long you've been waiting for him to turn it up. You're at the right place if it blows up though. I am at the right place if it blows up. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Second video, we're here at Hell Horse Performance doing a bit of a cars and coffee. We left you hanging with the last video, I apologize. If you haven't seen the last video and you're interested, definitely check it out. The goal today is to make a little bit more power. Um, so we've got C85 in the gas tank. See if we can achieve a little bit more with a safer fuel uh, at around the same boost level. So previously the car has done 1100 horsepower 1097 right there at it everything was everything was gucci everything was good to go palm beach dino tune hell's twin turbo kit uh we got fic 1000 cc injectors boundary oil pump gears crank sprocket we are head studded we do have valve springs cometic head gaskets but pretty much that's it at the, at the end of the day it's a stock stock engine 1100 horsepower guys is a new redesign of the Hell Horse Twin Turbo Kit. It's been an adventure. I've got about two and a half hours of sleep last night. So luckily today I'm not really in charge of anything, just holding a camera. Cross our fingers. Let's go have some fun. Let's have a good video. Let's see if we can make some power. Wait, we're taking a modeling profile picture I'm, I'm here? Not sure. What are we doing? What do you want me to do? This YouTube content is already ruined. What do you mean it's so, ruined? It's because I'm a nervous wreck again. It talked about it made like 1100 before. And I wasn't even here. But he won't tell me what boost it is. He's over here talking about... I just showed you but that you we did. made 19 pounds with your car the other night without you here and you didn't believe me. He told me 18. Well, I might have made a hit after that. That's why you're so nervous. We're going to have a talk. Turn around on yourself and look how nervous... Let's have a talk. Let's have a talk about you taking a year to turn it all the way up. In the comments below, put how long you've been waiting for him to turn it up. It's all fun and games until it's not, you know what I mean? You're at the right place if it blows up, though. I am at the right place if it blows up. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't need to blow up. <laughs> yeah, what, what's your guess? Last time you're here. I did. Yeah, 1,024. I mean, from, from what I'm guessing, if I'm going to play the poker face... It's time, already done 1,100. I'm going to say 1,170. You don't think we're going to high? Are you, are you poker face? <laughs> no, I, I really... Ken! Uh-oh. Ken, how much power are we going to make? Oh, I don't know. More than last time. How much power are we going to make? Seven. Seven? I like that number. I like seven. Seven is God's number. Amen. Amen. Yes, absolutely. Looks good, man. I love the gloss black. Tell the people how nervous you are right now because they only get to see you post dino. Why don't you tell the Xander we see being super nervous? Yeah, nervous. I don't want to talk anymore. That's how nervous you are. <laughs> I don't want to do it. You're watching Andrew put pails of C85 in this car, which. We didn't make the hits on C85 the other day. This is so yeah, you had pump 93, and it was actually a little bit dirty. 93, I did not make I'm it. <laughs> on C8, on C8. <laughs> That's how nervous you are right now. That's funny. We got to give him a hard time. We we got to give him a hard okay. time. We're putting C85 in it now. Yeah. So obviously we're going for broke. What did I cut you off on the live stream yesterday? Like 900 at the wheel? Was that yesterday? Uh huh. I think I cut it the day before. It was the night before. You were not, yeah. It was like 900. No. It was 1,045. Before I cut you off. And then you went silent for like five hours. Yeah. yeah. And me and Ken are so like. You've already seen a number that's higher than what you made before. But you went ghost for five hours on the dyno. Yeah. I was like, man, dude, dude the thing is toast. It's toast. It's gone. Yeah. I was already, you know, just mentally prepping myself for the next YouTube video. Guys, we pushed it. We're stupid. Sorry. We'll fix it. So I cut you off to 1,045, which is what? 20 real horsepower more than you made before. Right. With a better power curve. Right. Oh, the power curve is way better. And then I cut you off. Yeah. And I made seven more hits after that. Oh, my. And we never made a super cool hit. We're defined super, super cool. Motor cool down, car cool down. Oh, I thought you were talking about like fancy numbers. No, like when you let the car cool so it's not back to back beating. Almost like you're going down the track. So we don't destroy, so we don't like melt the ringlands and you know. You get, I, well, it takes money to do that. 
I was under the impression there was some kind of an issue. You changed a couple. Of... <laughs> you, you, yeah, 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 yeah. I am nervous. I was nervous in the last video. If you want to see what nervous Daniel looks like, either keep watching this one or go check out the other. I recommend both because uh, I'd never seen quad digits on a dyno before. Let it alone be my only my my car. I can't even speak properly right now. Um, but we did it, and then we already I already know that it's made eleven. So, and he's chasing more with better fuel. I am, um, I'm gonna quit talking. That's what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna quit talking and see what happens. Right, down pipes, but you said it sounds a lot beefier, right? All right, first start up. Yeah, go for it. You hear that rod knock? No, there is, there's noise. Is that okay? I think it's the guy calling. Okay. Will you hold this for a second? Just film whatever. Say it again. 12 and a half PSI at 5,500 RPMs and made 805 to the wheels. <laughs> That's stupid. That's stupid. Well, I'm not afraid of 12 pounds. I'm afraid of like, you know, 22. You're spinning on the dyno with good tires. That's a good sign. That's pretty crazy. Seven thousand RPM. Close to nine hundred on twelve pounds. How far do you go? So not quite all the way to red line, but uh, yeah, close to nine hundred at uh, twelve pounds. That's about normal. That's crazy. That's so stupid. That's so stupid. I'm okay with. Yeah, twelve pounds. I mean, we've been there all day long. Just wait till you had eight more. I'm not ready for that. <laughs> I'm just not. Eight seventy four. <laughs> 739 and it's right there. You think the numbers are low? I mean, look at the fuel we're pulling. That's Robin horsepower. We're trying to make a log in the big power level if it's still like that. I'll get Robin some really good. What's up? Uh, he's not sure if he wants to put his car up there after you. Yeah. Why not? Well, I guess I'm well, I told him you're not competing. Are you trying? Oh, is this is this a competition? This is uh, what it turned out to be. It's not fair if you're competing in the winning the two hundred dollars. It's just not fair. <laughs> Why now? Yeah. It's not fair for him if you're competing in the winning the two hundred. Oh, I'm not competing. <laughs> you're fine. I'm not competing. We're just competing with my last video. We did eleven. We're trying to break eleven hundred horsepower. Um, yeah, yeah. So a little spicy for a stock engine. <laughs> <laughs> is it gonna go or blow? What do you think? You know, it's gonna go for a little bit. It it's it's gonna go until it blows. Everything was going so great until it wasn't. No, honestly though, like people are gonna ask in the comments, they're gonna be like, "What in the world are you doing?" Honestly, it's to showcase the efficiency of the new twin turbo kit. So when we get the car back off the rollers, if you're new to the channel, by the way, you know, I'll walk around the car and show you what we got. 
but um, yeah, I mean, just the the new re revisions with the new four to one headers is uh, really making the difference here. We just want to keep it around the same boost level as we have before. Just remember, you know, it's flowing more, um, so it's a little bit more efficient. That's where we're getting those numbers from. That boost was that? I think the fuel was that big. Is what? 14. 14. Alright, guys, so previously we made uh, 909 a little bit down on power. Um, it's, it's a little rich. So we got the revision from Palm Beach Dino and we're gonna hit, do the same thing. So only about 50% turned up, but that was about uh, what was it, 13 pounds before, 900 horsepower. So this should be a little bit more spicy but safer. And uh, I can't say enough good things about Palm Beach. I mean, they've really done a lot for the car, honestly. Really know what they're doing. I appreciate it. We got the mullet. Yeah, we got the hair. We, we, we got it. It's good. <laughs> A little more. 9.99 and 8.59 torque. Crazy. All right, so it did 9.99 and we blew a coupler. So when we look at the Dynagraph here, that's actually why we got a little dip back there. So getting it fixed and uh, let the car cool off and we'll do it again. So we're not all the way up in boost yet. We're still going. The car's hot. Yeah. Okay, we might need another tune revision. It's still pulling about 10% of fuel. So what that means is it's a little bit rich and uh, all normal, but the car's hot. What's up? C85. Yeah, for C85, that's, that's normal. So we're going to get it revised a little bit, let Rob Shoemaker take a look at it and uh, see what he does where we go from there. I don't know if we're going to hold off and just maybe reattack this at the night and get us a glory hit, but. I mean, pretty impressive. <laughs> you can't really argue with a thousand horsepower um, out of this new twin turbo kit. By the way, if you're unfamiliar, hellhorseperformance.com is where you can find this this turbo kit. The new, really does new, the new, the new, new, the new hotness, the new redesigned twin turbo kit from Hell Horse Performance. So what that means is you get standard ceramic coating, you get standard four to one headers, comp turbos, triple ball bearing. Sweet, they perform really well, love them, wouldn't change them for anything. And all of that for a base price under $9,000 is crazy. So by the way though, if you're interested in that kit, check out my email address down below. I have worked a deal with Hellhorse basically. I can pretty much send you the invoice myself, kind of get that one-on-one. -on -one. So yeah, maybe it's a little bit of a sales pitch, I guess. But no, I think it's pretty cool because I can interact with you guys a little bit more if you want to twin turbo your car. And uh, the car's on fire right now. So we're gonna let it cool, give it a few hours, get another hit and uh, see where this video goes. But yeah, pretty cool. Thank you everybody that showed up to this little small cars, cars and coffee thing. is very last minute. Uh, getting to shake hands with everybody, hang out with everybody. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, honestly, it's a true blessing. And uh, could not and would not be doing any of this without all of your support. So I appreciate oh, yeah. it. Are you done? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm almost done. Almost done. Mine looks pretty much the same. The kit used to hang a little bit lower than the subframe. Right about there. With the standard header, which is right there. It's a modified OEM stock, basically. Now we have a true four to one. It's above the K member. Am I gonna smack a turbo on the bottom of the ground? Well, you will never have to worry about that because you would hit all of this first. I know I sound like, I sound like a salesperson right now, but I'm, honestly, it's a good deal. I mean. It is. Yeah. It's a good deal, you got a little mo. It is. We're just telling the truth. 
honestly. So yeah, if you're interested in one of these kits, yeah, def definitely let me know. Send me an email, hit me up on Instagram, or leave a comment down below, and I see if I can get you hooked up a little bit and maybe save you a couple bucks off of the kit. Getting better. Kept everything the same. 1065, the torque, bro. That torque, that torque's gone up. 905, bro. That's oh my gosh. That's so stupid. That's insane. <laughs> Holy crap. That's freaking nuts. That? 905, 905 torque. torque. No, they're still they're still cleaning up the, the curve. Yeah. Yeah, they're playing with gain and sensitivity right now, I think. So and different fuel. Different fuel. Yep, uh, this is what it did, this is what it's done. 40 degrees cooler air. 40 degrees cooler air. But we sacrificed a little bit here Yeah. for now. We'll see what it does tonight in the same weather for you to pick up almost 100 foot pounds of torque. That's freaking crazy. So your torque curve way higher. That's nuts. But we'll get this curve back with a little bit more tune up. I'm just not gonna beat on it in the middle of the day, back to back to back to back. Yeah, 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 we'll, we'll do it again when it gets a little cooler, so. But that's pretty crazy, like, yeah, consistently over 1,000. Consistently, that's. You still not done? I'm, I'm gonna go away, sorry. <laughs> I love you, Ken. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, I could be done faster if you just pick up a ranch. I mean. I we're done with the car now, so I can help you out until tonight. They're gonna make one more. I think they're gonna make another pull tonight. No, yeah, you're right. You're right. So, the conversation right now is um, that the car's hitting max timing, and uh, we just think that the, the, the car doesn't. It's not responding. It's well, it is responding to C85. Uh, we're up 108 pound feet of torque, which is great, but it's robbing power. So. Like talking to Ken, what he's explaining to me is, yeah, we're gaining torque, but they're actually down on power because it's wanting. So if we could up the timing, but things get spicy at that point. We're at 24 degrees. So car's fine. Car's fine. It's hot in here, man. It is hot. I got to put my hat back right now. Don't put the camera. I got to put my hat back right There you go. I only do that when I work my car. You're a Ford Tech. What, what are we talking about here? I don't know. I'm not a tuner. Well, I'm not either. <laughs> I'm not a tuner. I know enough to be dangerous. I know enough to get in trouble. Myself. No, I mean, it, it's, you know, it's like if you're running 93 and you put too much octane booster in it and you hit max time and you can actually, there is a certain point you can actually start hurting the power. Yeah, I mean, torque is up. It's just power is down. But it's also hot. We ran the car pretty much back. We didn't really let it sit. The car was over a thousand horsepower. So, <laughs> is there, yeah, over, consistently over, over a thousand. thousand horsepower. Yeah, we're making hit after hit after hit after hit. It's a thousand. Yeah, uh, but yeah, the car has done 1100, <laughs> but that was pumpy 85. So we may actually do that tonight. Don't know yet. Right. So the, the reason we put C85 in there is we were planning on trying to go to the track, and uh, we got tied up here because Ken's taking a sweet time. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm just kidding. Do you really want to tell him? I'm happened? just kidding. No. So the car's gonna run eight. Oh, it's an eight second car with a good launch. It's gonna run eight. It's a thousand horsepower. It's gonna run eight. We've got to go down south somewhere. Just don't race your car on C85, and you'll be all right. I told him, I said, if it's hitting max timing, is it possible it won't? You know, 90, you know 93, you put too much loose, it wants more timing. That's yeah. What I'm, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's where the gas goes. So, yep. sweet. It wants more timing. It wants it. Yeah. It's not burning. It's not, I don't think it's burning all the fuel. You know, you just have to wait the rod get back. Yeah, it's going to be the final, you know, back. Oh, he wants it out. My assumption is we should take the C out, put E in it. I agree with that. If you're not, if it's not happy, it's not happy go back to the way it was. Maybe. Put it back on pumpy. He that's finally right. told me the number. Did he? 11 or 7. Listen, there this, you go. this is just all of us being greedy with C85. This is the first yeah. time I played with C85 outside of one ethanol and everything else. Yeah. This is what was available on a short notice. To try to give him extra insurance for the track to have a little bit more power. It's obviously apparent his car doesn't like it. The pickup torque, 100 foot, 108 foot pounds of torque. But we, we're down a little bit of horsepower. Power. I have heard. We're also that, midday in Texas. It's no, hot. Don't know the confirmation, but I have heard that you know the C85. You need a timing of, I mean, a tune-up date. Well, I've got for one in the car. Did nothing for it. Yeah. Okay. 
So get it out of there. Yeah. Get it out. I don't see the benefit. Nope. $85 fuel? Don't need it in your 18 Mustang GT. You don't know unless you put it on a dyno and see what it does because the street's not going to tell you what well, it's going to do. I mean, we're hey, going to. See the pants? I mean, you know, see the pants and see the pants, but, right. you know, you don't know. But the car doesn't like it up top. We've been 155 with a lot less power already in the quarter. Correct. So, uh, this is an experiment. I mean, green is not the right term, I guess, really. It's just an experiment to see if we get you a little bit more of an advantage going down the track. Yeah, and sometimes things don't work out, so you go back to the way that it yep. works. So, we're going to go back to Pumpy 85, and then... Uh, see what that is. Yeah. Live at your 1100 wheel horsepower number. Yeah. If we decide to try to get this out and make a hit tonight, then we'll, we'll do that. And you can capture on dyno. If not, I've got the graph that I've shared on Instagram, and I can give you, and you can put in the video and show what Pumpy 85 actually does with this car. Yeah. So either way, I just don't want to beat, abuse the car to abuse the car. No, either way, guys, impressive. Yeah, you, can't, yeah. you can't argue with this. Mm -hmm. It's you great. 11, Stock engine. 1100 823 or something. Yep. On Pumpy 85. Experiment didn't work out. Yep. Actually, what's going to happen is we're going to pull the C85 out of the car, put regular E back in it. Okay. It seemed to like it a little bit more. Likes it better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. It's weird, but uh, <laughs> most people are going to run, you know, pump E85 anyway. So, um, but the numbers are actually higher. We got more torque with the C85, but the horsepower is higher with the pump E85. Yeah, E85. So.